singing group (laughs) (laughs) Capone Gangsta Comedy what's up man yes I'm here brother yes sir welcome back to the city thank you for having me thank you man I love Cleveland I ain't gonna even lie in front I love Cleveland and you do well every time yes that's the truth last night you had a sellout crowd I was told Thursday it was unbelievable and it was cold freezing yeah and And we right off the lake yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> when I said Lake, you were like, ooh, I'm yeah. going chill. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, man. So what's been going on before I dive into all this? What's been going on with you, man? Let's catch up. Let's uh, catch up. All right. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know if you heard, but, you know, the tour that I have going on with the New York Kings. Yeah. yeah which is for me, me yeah. talent, uh, Rob Stapleton and Mark Vieira. Yeah. you producing that one as well, yeah. right? Well, we all producing. I don't okay. want to take full credit. Got Everybody got plays their whole part. Yeah. And it's been, it's been unbelievable. Yeah. You know, the dates is coming in and, you know, for four headliners to actually sit together and just say, man, let's do this. Yeah. That's a lot. Though. Yeah. That's a lot. Cause, Cause we all eagles. Yeah. 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 So, but you know. We put ourselves in a place to where everybody knows their part. Yeah. What Rob specializes in, we let him do. What yeah. I specialize in, they let me do. So yeah. It's it's yeah. a great combination right now. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Being your own boss. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Y- y- <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been my own boss for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, as we were saying earlier, it, you know, it's the time to be your own boss. Mm-hmm. But all of these things going down it's time for you to dig deep into yourself and find out what you're really good at and put it out there and share it with the world because it's nothing wrong with having a job but when you are dictated of what your paycheck and when your paycheck is coming when i'm not respected too yeah yeah it's a very hard situation when millionaires can just say well let's shut it down and let them suffer Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are going through government that right now. shutdown. Oh. What's your take on the government shutdown? Bro? You want to know the honest truth? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what the honest truth to me is. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, as you can see, this whole cabinet that Trump got is getting picked apart. Yeah. And if his campaign get, manager right. just got just got popped. arrested. Yeah. Yeah. And so for that. You have to understand that when it comes down that heavy, you know that they go into the head. Mm-hmm. And with all of the evidence they got and the head they got, the only way for Trump to save himself, because you can't impeach or do anything mm-hmm. when the government is shut down. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so whoever his advisor is, is a very smart advisor. People think it's about a wall. It ain't about no wall. Uh-huh. That wall ain't got nothing to do with anything. It's about them getting ready to impeach him. Yeah. And he's saying that they can't do it if the government is shut, shut down. down. Nobody right. can do it. <laughs> I got control of this. And right, so right, 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 right. It's something that you really yeah. have to pay attention to, man. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate that a lot of people are going to suffer. Yeah. A lot. A whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that the uh, Democrats should give in? No. No? No, huh? I don't know. Huh? No. Huh. And the sad part is that this was supposed to be the, the, you know, they done painted it to where it looks like Mexicans are the worst people in the world. Mm-hmm. And we know what it's like because they painted us to be the worst people in the world at one time. True that. Black Being black was something that was horrible. Mm-hmm. But then they moved from us to Muslims, mm-hmm. and now they move into Mexicans. They'll yeah. use a whole race of people to uh, make it seem like it's it's a bad thing. Yeah. Know? And it's not. And people yeah. living over there in poverty and they tired and they want opportunity. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's how I look at yeah. it. Yeah. I hear you, man. <laughs> are, you, are you thinking about running? Because, you, know, uh, <laughs> you know, Kim Kardashian uh, got a, she's walking around with a Kanye for president hat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's almost the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any coming back for Kanye, you think? Um, the sad part about it is that uh, uh, he uh, he was gone a long time ago, uh-huh. 
and uh, coming back to what? Yeah. To what? His music being different. I mean, this is the real sad part about to me is that these people who act crazy and do all kinds of weird things get the most publicity. Mm -hmm. But when you get people who do encouraging things to encourage the people to do, they don't get no publicity. None. And so, you know, I, I, I've never been a Kanye fan, even though I know him. I'm, yeah? No? No? You never like his music? Nah, I'm into rap music heavy. Okay. I'm okay. a rock him and okay. Okay. those type of people. Straight <laughs> old school. Four L -L. fathers. You going all yes, the way. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. respect the music, but yeah. nah. Yeah, man. Um, Spotify, you know, uh, <laughs> talking about muting. They want to give you the chance to mute your own music instead of them muting our Kelly. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another another situation. Like I don't. I want to make this clear. I don't condone what R. Kelly did. Mm -hmm. But it's so which one? Which one? Uh, now you talking about when he when he got acquitted after everybody saw the tape? Well, I mean. Everybody the guy saw, had a problem. Everybody saw there's that a, There's a lot of men with that same problem out here. Peeing on people? I, no, on 13 I, I, Well, there's a couple of people that like to be peed on. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, I'm going to just say this. I'm not, uh -huh. I am not condoning what he did. Got it. But what I will say is that they find mm -hmm. the appropriate time mm -hmm. to rock a black man. I mean, he was when he was making money for the record companies, Nobody was saying nothing. See, you can say some stuff I can't say because right. I, I don't feel like going back and forth with people. Right. Because I'm a factual guy. Yeah. You know. So I know he's not as hot as he used to be. Mm -hmm. His songs, they're trying to take away. I mean, it's the same thing. Look at Chris Brown. Chris Brown got the rights or is getting the rights to his his music. All mm -hmm. of a sudden, he's a rapist. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just this this game that they're playing. They have to understand mm -hmm. uh, what we've been taught is not the right way. You're supposed to own. How can you you make music and somebody else owns your creativity? Mm -hmm. And that's what I don't understand about this music industry is that, okay, you put a paycheck up. You loaned me some money. Allow me to pay you some money with some interest, but don't try to take my life. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing to them. They mm -hmm. are really just, we own the rights to your music. How? Well, notice everybody who, who ever fought for their rights, their music end up. They're dead. All right. Yes. Prince, dead. Yeah. Michael, Michael Jackson, dead. There's a couple of other people dead that we just don't know about. Yeah. But the thing is that, you know, a lot of people signed contracts when they were young. They were trick contracts. Yeah. Lawyers was getting paid, so they didn't really care. Yeah. And now Chance is the time. They, they famous now. Yeah. I'm famous right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you when know. you look at everything that, that takes place right now, mm -hmm. there's a there's an opportunity for everybody. When mm -hmm. I was first started comedy, my goal was to get on TV. Mm -hmm. I was. I wanted to be a big TV star. I didn't did movies. I didn't did TV. Yeah. I did all of that. I became famous, but at the same time, there was somebody controlling. Mm -hmm. With the internet, mm -hmm. you can do what you want to do. You just have to utilize it smart. There's so many people that's becoming millionaires and becoming so-called famous because of on the internet. internet. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. the same fictional stuff as yeah. TV. Yeah. You just have to learn to utilize it. And I chose to utilize my format as helping people out. Mm -hmm. Learn teaching them about business, teaching them that you don't have to try to earn a paycheck to, and even if you earn a paycheck, do something else. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit comfortable. Learn to be uncomfortable until you get comfortable. Mm -hmm. It's just my theory. Say that again. That's a quote right there. <laughs> Hashtag learn, learn to be uncomfortable, uncomfortable to, to be get comfortable. comfortable. Right. And then. Uncomfortable <laughs> again. You dig my no, brother? It's, it's, it's the truth, <laughs> man. There's so many people that get comfortable and just learn to stay there. And 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 uh, I just want to put this out there too. Uh, when I had because I had an attorney on, right. when we were talking about R. Kelly, and and uh -huh. he said there's no way to charge him because uh, these girls, right? They were of age. Mm -hmm. And the police went by, right, and did these checks, right. So for us to uh, to charge them for that, they right. they had to look for something else. Mm. He said, "But you look at TV, the media, 
Right. The media has now has now because he's black. Let's just say because you have to had these sixteen year old girls in the Playboy Mansion making love to them left and right, and he mm. was a hundred years old. Mm. Never brought up on charges. Looked like he was the greatest man to ever do anything, and they invited all the celebrities to come over and sleep with these women. Those are facts. Jerry Lee Lewis married his 16-year-old niece. I think she was 13. Mm-hmm. And no charges have been on. This has been going on for a while. But mm-hmm. being that R. Kelly is not a hot commodity anymore and they don't need him no more, we'll bring back the old stuff. Bill Cosby, all of those women, I don't condone nothing yeah. that anybody does that's yeah. wrong. Correct. But at the same time, I am a meteor celebrity. Mm-hmm. And I've seen women who would want to do anything just to get in the pool, a movie with me. Mm-hmm. You know, I've I've been on sets to where a girl who didn't know me was like, can I just walk with you so I can be in front of the camera with you? We'll do anything. So, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's, it's a double sword. And I just thank God that I am at a mental state where I don't have to mm-hmm. do nothing like that. Where mm-hmm. I ain't chasing no young, I ain't getting set up. Mm. I mean, it comes all the way around. It's the nature of the game. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to something yeah. else. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> Super Bowl. Okay. You watching? Uh, or you protesting? I'm going to be working. Okay. I like to work. You work. You work. But uh, I'm not going to. I. I th- it's a good question that you just asked. Yeah. Because I was protesting the NFL. Mm. And I'll say it. You know, I was with. Kaepernick and yeah. all of that I great thing. About, yeah. yeah, the thing is that it just stopped. Mm-hmm. No resolution, nothing. Just stopped. People just went right back to to watching football, and that is to me the biggest problem that we as black people have. Mm-hmm. We never ever get a solution. Mm-hmm. We just uproar, and then they quiet us down somehow. Or, or what they would do, right, is they donate some money to one of our charities. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, or whatever they, they it is. They keep us quiet. Yeah. Yeah. And that's been the the issue for a long time. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not a fan of Tom Brady or uh-huh. other <laughs> cheating refs that work for him. <laughs> Cause that well, clearly Well, you got you got <laughs> so what cheating ref gonna win? Cause you know the Rams oh, yeah. had a couple of close calls too. Well, I mean, we all know football is set up like boxing right, right. now. <laughs> so we got cheating refs versus right. cheating refs. Yeah. It's going to be something. <laughs> Hopefully they get mixed together. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so they don't know who to cheat for. Right, right. Maybe we can have a good football game. <laughs> yeah. That's funny, man. But, yeah, but no, I, I dig what you say. I dig, I dig that because, you know, a lot of times we, we, we will get really emotional about something. Right. And then we don't finish. Mm-hmm. We'll start out and then we, we don't finish until we, you know. Yeah, yeah, we got to get answers. We got to see change. The craziest thing is that I heard a speech today, when this morning when I woke up. I try to listen to motivational stuff, and Dr. King, who said, uh, and I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really listen to Dr. King that much. Mm-hmm. Is because when uh, I got locked up, it was on Dr. King's birthday when the people I was innocent and they found me guilty because mm-hmm. they didn't want to stand trial. It mm-hmm. was like the judge said, "Well, if you." Don't come up with a decision, a verdict. We will be here for the four days. And he was like, okay, he's guilty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. And what, what, what you, so what like did, you, what did you go in for? For drugs. Drug. I sold yeah, drugs. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You did. Yeah. Okay, right, right. So it wasn't a fair chance, uh-huh. even though I, I, I sold drugs. Yeah. I admit that. Yeah. But uh, the way they handled me was just yeah. terrible. But he did say this. He says they compare us as black people to every other people who went through something. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that every other people, should I say, were not slaves on this soil. Okay. And then when we got freed, we were given nothing. Mm. The Europeans were given land to start Mm -hmm. their world, Mm -hmm. and everybody else was given something except us. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that even though now we have opportunities, we still won't take them. Damn, why? That's the question. Uh, Me and you could talk all day about yeah. positive things, and people will look at us like, oh, yeah, 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 I don't want to hear that. That's so true. Yeah, that's why I challenge people on Friday to call me with something good because right. I know it's hard for some people. Well, I mean, you're an example. Yeah. You're an example of of a person who believes in hard work pays off. Mm-hmm. And we were just talking in in the room over there, and you you gave an expression of clearly, hey, these guys are procrastinating 
with mm-hmm. my new restaurant. Mm-hmm. Did you not say that? Oh, yeah. Okay, we, we so. We talking about we need this, that. Right, exactly. We call it, hey, man, where is this at? Right. You knew I needed, yeah. Got and it. so what I'm saying is throughout even the trials and the tribulations, mm-hmm. You still deal with. You never walk away and say, "Well, I don't want to do this." You oh, still go forward. Of, that's part of the process. To get uncomfortable, to be comfortable. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See, we need to make that quote. You got to put that on another shirt too. We got to show your mama's shirt in a minute. Here. Yes. But you need you need to do that. Patent yeah. that. You dig for real? Patent yes. that. Yeah. 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 Real. Talk. What do you think about man kids today? You saw the video South Carolina two weeks ago mm-hmm. where. The the uh the white dude, right. fifty one years old, tall, he big dude. Punched an eleven year old girl. Claim he didn't know how old she was. Yes. Okay. Mm. Um what do you say to that? Good timing. Mm. The reason I say good timing, because I thank God that I'm never and for some reason I think I'm gonna be put into that situation. Mm-hmm. That I'm never put into that situation. It seems like things like that are done. When you when you're never around, when the right people are never around, yeah, because you already know what it. Okay, exactly. Yeah, you know I'm gun ho on regardless of what the situation. This is just the person that I am. Yeah, and I'm quite sure that there's other people who think like I think, but the thing is that when you can keep getting away with it, mm-hmm. there's no consequences. He's it was a slap on the wrist. Exactly. He, there's he no consequences. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna keep being done and. People don't realize that this system is not made for us. Mm -hmm. It's not. Never was, and it never will be. And so when you got these these incidents happening all around the world. Caught on video, bro. Yes, and nothing is happening. On video. Judges are being paid off. Police are being paid off. And the sad part, the the thing that gets to me more than anything Mm -hmm. is that you work for a system that you know is corrupt. And as a black policeman or a Latino policeman, mm-hmm. you say nothing. Mm. Mm. That bothers me. Mm. I mean, regardless of what your job takes over all presidents of humanity. Wow. In his own words, y'all, Capone <laughs> on the show. He's at the improv, uh, yes. guys, all weekend. I want y'all to go see him today, tomorrow, and Sunday. <laughs> they probably don't think I'm funny now. <laughs> <laughs> this is another side. But no, they know you're funny. This is a whole other side, but this is just real. It's real. It's real. Life growing up, man. We know what you you know, you had your your, right. your time, that, but were you always telling jokes? Uh I always had a smart mouth. Yeah. Because I was very intelligent and I was told to read all the time. So when you told to read, yeah. and you're around people who you feel are not up to your mental caliber, yeah. you kind of talk a lot. Yeah. And that's what I did. Yeah. You know, I, I talked a lot. Yeah. So talking a lot sometimes, even till this day, yeah, signs you off as being somebody different. Uh huh. So yeah, I had a rough childhood. Yeah. Very yeah. rough. <laughs> <laughs> very rough. You do you remember your first fight? Huh. And did you win it? Every fight. You won e- every come, fight. Every fight, bro. Every come on, fight. dog. Every fight. Not one. Let me tell you why. Why? Because when you knock out the biggest bully, yeah, nobody else wants to mess with you. Yeah. So those that took a chance, there was one. Uh-huh. I'm not even gonna lie. I was scared. Yeah. It was this guy named Godo. I was in PS43. I never forget. Mm-hmm. He was big. As, uh, he should have been a teacher. Mm-hmm. That's how big he was. Mm-hmm. Somebody took his friend's coat. And they blamed it on me. Wow. I never was a thief. Yeah. And so that was an insult right yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we was in the bathroom, and you know the, the rule three o'clock, I'm knocking you out. That's what he said. 315. He's right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. So uh, he, he caught me in the bathroom. He was like, You stole the coat. I was like, I ain't stealing no coat. And he said, Yeah, everybody said you stole the coat. Mm-hmm. So even though I was scared, I stood my ground. Well, what, whatever, you know, whatever the word right. was back then. Well, right. we gonna fight. We just gonna fight. Right. And I showed that I wasn't scared, which made him scared. Uh huh. And that was a strategy for a long time that I used that I didn't have to fight because once there's no fear and whatever it is, you know, that person might be just as scared. You know, yeah. you can you, we, we gonna get in trouble or no? Right. 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 Now I'm ready. <laughs> you know. <laughs> in so, fact, I'm insulted that yeah, we're not. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. that was the only time. Other than that. And I'm, did you all become friends afterwards? Well, I I, I don't. No. He apologized, just, he apologized because they found the coat. 
Okay. He found the coat. But the thing was, there wasn't no friendship there uh-huh. from the beginning. Uh huh. So that yeah. was it. I like I said, he had a beard and everything. I think yeah. he was in fifth grade. Yeah. And they used to call him Gordo. Yeah. Big dude. Yeah. But, but see, that's ready. that's the thing versus <laughs> now and then. We would talk oh, it yes. out. We would just, you know, with the hands and move on. Now right. it's the guns. Yeah. You know? It's because they're cowards. Yeah. There's so many things that change. Let me ask you one question. Yeah. Have you ever seen, when the last time you've seen a cast? A what? Oh, a cast. Yeah. <laughs> I had one. Yeah, right exactly. Here. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a normal. You fall, you break your right. arm, you go into the hospital. When the last time you've seen a cast? Damn, kids I didn't think are about not that. Kids. Your boy, I ain't thinking yeah. <laughs> Wow. Everybody hey, had one. Yeah, exactly. You would sign it. Hey, let me sign it. Yes, cast. exactly. Mm-hmm. Everybody named. Nobody got a cast. Damn. Now, these kids ain't even hurting themselves. Wow. They scared. <laughs> They're not doing nothing to hurt themselves. They're all stoned and just walking around like zombies. Yeah. They don't know what fun is. Man. You broke your arm. You're like, oh, man, everybody going right. to sign this. And, and remember when it was snow yes. after school? What would we do? Throw snowballs. Yeah, and 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 and, and, and then you'd dunk some. Yeah, exactly. Right. Fighting and all that. Right, yeah. <laughs> I can't get my Louis Blatons. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's what's up. So uh, uh, next stops for the tour. Okay, we are uh, in uh, with the Kings. The Kings, yes. I am in, uh, we are, should I say we? We try to practice that word, not to say I. Yeah, right. We, right. <laughs> we are in Texas. Okay. We are in, uh, and we did the big shows is in North Carolina, um, Texas. And then we come to New York at Caroline's and do six shows there. Okay, okay. They just added another show, so seven shows there. Damn, that's and what's then, up. And uh, then we hit Connecticut, and we just hitting the East Coast and booking as we go along. Man. Yeah, but we yeah. we solid right now, a solid 10 show yeah. tour dates. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what's up, man. Yes, sir. Always good to talk to you, bro. You too, man. I want y'all to make sure you if you're not following, go follow Capone right now. Yes, comedian Capone, please. No doubt. All right, we got more coming up the Sam Simpson Show. Ain't nobody hotter.